Today, we are going to be making chili. Thank you to those who have suggested this video. Make sure to grab yourself a Dutch oven. The Dutch oven I am using today is six quarts. If you do not have a Dutch oven, use a giant pot. So what you're gonna do is turn it to medium high heat. Make sure to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Once the oil is heated up, you're gonna take minced garlic, four to five cloves. You're gonna take minced onion, one whole onion, and then you're gonna mince a bell pepper, one whole bell pepper. So, we're gonna put that all in together into your giant pot. You're gonna saute the vegetables until they are soft and when the onions are translucent. I have a pound of ground beef and a pound of Italian sausage. You're gonna break it up as you put them both into your pot. You're gonna keep breaking it up while it's cooking and you'll know when it's done when it turns brown. The meat is pretty much browned. And make sure to use an oven mitt because this pot is getting pretty hot. And now we're gonna add our spices in. And we have here some cumin because cumin is what gives chili its distinctive flavor. Okay, so we have some, one teaspoon of me Mexican oregano. We have here some three teaspoons of ground cumin. We have two teaspoons of ground pepper over here. We have two teaspoons of salt and three tablespoons of chili powder. Oh, it smells spicy. Make sure to mix all your spices very well. Now we have the beans. Make sure to drain and rinse your beans. So we have one can of black beans, one can of pinto beans, and one can of kidney beans. So we're gonna put that in. Make sure to mix your beans very well. Okay, now, last but not least, we have the tomatoes. We have the organic diced tomatoes. Pour that in. And now we have some fire roasted diced tomatoes. We have two cans of this, and this is gonna give it its toasted, roasted flavor. Once all the ingredients come back up to a boil, you're gonna put your lid on the top, and then, you're gonna bring it down to a simmer. And you're gonna do that for 60 to 90 minutes. We have been simmering the chili for about an hour, and now it's time to serve and eat it. We have a bowl of chili here, and then over here we have some cheese. You're gonna put some on top. Then another thing you can do is put some cilantro. We have finely chopped the cilantro. You're just gonna take some and sprinkle it on. All chefs must taste their food, so let's see how it tastes. Mmm. That's like really good. It's more of like soup, but not. You can get the beans in there, and it's like awesome. It has very good flavor.